Hi, this is Michael from OTC.com, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and you're doing the free TOEFL writing evaluation. So I have, okay, here they are. Here's the actual writing rubrics and then your essay. I put you in the three area a high three but not quite 375 I'm going to put you at 3.5 out of 5 22 points out of 30 so inconsistent facility and sentence formation I think is a big one for you and then and let's take a look at the essay for a minute okay here we go so what do we mean by by inconsistent sentence formation here, see if I can show you. Uh, you said no one can deny the importance of education in our lives. Then you just put a comma there and you create what's called a comma splice. But if you put in as much as in there, or because it shapes, then you no longer have that sentence structure issue. The next one, teachers are the pith of the educational process. They have, see again, you have teachers are, they have, right? So you're not controlling your sentences. This is a error you make in every single paragraph, right? If you get rid of this and say, teachers the pith of the education, the educational process, and then you omit this subject here, then you could say teachers, the pith of the educational process, have a crucial role in molding students' minds. And then maybe if you put a coordinated conjunction and great teachers reflect great education. Because of their role, it is my firm belief that teachers should not be paid according to their students' learning for a number of reasons, and I will develop th these ideas in subsequent paragraphs. This is the part that you've plagiarized, and you don't need to do that. You, 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 you have pretty good vocabulary already, so instead of saying this, which comes from some website, uh, I've seen this many, many times, just explain your thesis, mention what your key points are, and that's going to help give you a little bit better organization, right? So those are my main comments. So I didn't give you a score higher than 3.5 because of all the sentence structure issues in every single paragraph, right? If you go to Google, you have what is a comma splice, right? That's your big problem. How do I repair a comma splice, right? I gave you some examples of how to do it, but remember, it's a little complicated because in order to repair it, I had to put some coordinating or subordinating conjunctions in there, and you might not even know what those are. So you have to make sure that you understand how to combine sentences together. You got three choices, right? You got subordinating conjunctions. If you want to go to Google, what are subordinating conjunctions? Number two, you have coordinating conjunctions. And then you have uh, transition words can also help to show the uh, connection of ideas. Okay, so I think that with this one, my other my other uh, suggestion, instead of two body paragraphs, I recommend three. I think that would also be very helpful. Uh, so a more specific thesis eliminate a lot of those sentence structure errors and develop a third reason here. I think that would help you to score much higher uh, when you take the TOEFL exam. All right, now you'll notice uh, in this email, if you look right below my name, you'll see different services I have. I have TOEFL private lessons. I have TOEFL speaking and writing feedback service and I'll also have online TOEFL courses. So a lot of my services are not too expensive and I can help you, I promise you, I can help you reach whatever your target score is, I can help you in your TOEFL journey. I got 30 years of teaching experience to help you. All right, have Hi there, and I'm listening to your speaking practice test now. So you, not only did you do the free TOEFL writing evaluation, but you also did the speaking. So 
believe it or not, you can probably estimate your TOEFL score after today. If you already know what your subtotals are in the reading and listening, I'm putting you at, at about 22 on the writing, right? So if you do that same thing again, that gives you 44, right? So if you did exactly those subtotals in the other two areas, that puts you at 88 right now. Okay, so let's see how you did on this one. I'm going to go ahead and bring your response. Let's listen to the whole thing one time. I won't make any comments at all. Then the second time I'll make comments. And the key here is, uh, okay, do you, do you, what do you think is better, group study or individual study, and then why? To me, I prefer studying with a group because it helps sharing thoughts between all of us which ensures that we will all prepare well if someone is missing information about the exam his friends will help him moreover it's more fun when you study when you're with your friends you will have much better time than studying alone it will be an activity that will help you study for longer time without getting bored. These are the reasons for my opinion. To me, I... Okay, so let's figure out... I need to figure out your uh, score here. So let's say, where is the speaking... Okay, hold on a minute. Let me find him right now. Okay. You're in the two range, my, I can tell you already. As soon as you started speaking, your thought groups are too small. You're pausing after like two or three words at the most. Too many pauses. You have to group ideas into thought groups of four to five stress words, and you're definitely not doing that. So just because of your delivery, I cannot score you at 23. Okay, let's take a look here. And I don't think you did a really good job with topic development either. So I'm going to say two here. You have unclear articulation. You have no. The the main thing is very choppy rhythm and pace. That exactly describes you right now. You're being so careful trying to pronounce all your words clearly. You're taking too many pauses in there. Now also mostly basic ideas are expressed with limited elaboration, details, and support. So I think because of your delivery and your topic development, I'm going to put you maybe, uh, I don't know, 15 to 16 points out of, out of 30 right now. So I said that your, your, writing, your total score might be 88, but now we got to look at say 15, 22, I don't know, you, you're probably between 70 and 80. That would be my guess right now. I, I don't know your reading and listening subtotals, though. But if, if you look at how you did here versus how you did on the writing, and I don't know what would happen on the integrated writing task. It could be a complete disaster and drag your score down even more. But here, uh, yeah, I, I think maybe 15 to 16 points out of 30 is probably a pretty accurate score. Okay, let's listen to it one more time. I'll try to give you some more feedback. Okay, let's go to the beginning here. To me, I prefer studying with a group because it helps. No, it's because it helps. Are you kidding me? You got a dependent clause in there. You can't pause after the subordinating conjunction. You have to group all those things together. That's one thought group. It's not several thought groups. If you said, well, I like to study in a group because I can score higher and my test and my studies will be much more efficient. Right? Something like that. Sharing thoughts between all of us, which ensures that we will all prepare well if someone... Who is we? Do you have a specific example that you can share here? You can say, hey, I was taking this biology test a few years ago, and I was trying to get ready for it, and I was confused by the topic of photosynthesis. Therefore, I attended a group study session, and during the group, we were able to really clarify what that concept was. And I felt much prepared for the test, much more prepared for that test ever having participated in that study group. Is missing information 
about the exam, his friends will help him. Moreover, it's... Whose friends? Why are we talking about things in a general sense? Why, why not bring your own examples in there? Right? I, me. It's more fun. When you study when you're with your friends, you will have... Who is you? Why are we using you? Again, everything you're doing is distancing yourself from the speaking task. But that's not your purpose here. Your purpose is to prove through your personal experiences and the experience of people that you know, you're trying to explain why group study is better or you prefer it over individual Much study. Much better time than studying alone. It will be an activity that will help you study for longer time without getting bored. These are the reasons for my opinion. That's the best part of it at the end. If you did the whole thing like that last sentence, that would be perfect. To me, that sounded natural. Your pacing was really good. Let's listen to it again. Listen to what you just said. Without getting bored. These are the reasons for my opinion. That. That's what you should be doing the whole speaking response. These are the reasons for my opinion, or these are the reasons for holding my opinion, right? When you got to the very end there, you actually had very natural, very natural rhythm, very natural pace. It almost sounds like you were reading everything. That's how obvious it, that's how choppy it was. I mean, think about it. What if I said this? This or these are the reasons for holding my opinion. What if, what if I said this to you? I prefer group study over individual study because it helps me score higher on tests and it helps my studies, it helps me be more efficient in my studies. I mean, if I talk to you like that, you wouldn't pay more attention to me more than 10 seconds. Right? So I don't know why you did what you did. You, 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 maybe you panicked and you really tried. You wanted to show, show me your best response, but it's just too many pauses. I'm even going to adjust my score even lower the second time. I'm going to put you at 2.0 out of 4. I'm going to put you at about 14 to 15 points out of 30. So don't ever... Never, never do that again. That's not what you want to do with TOEFL speaking. You need more fluidity of expression. And just remember, you know you can do it. You have good pacing. How do I know? Because at the very end of your response, in that final sentence, you spoke very naturally. That's what you want to do for the whole response. All right? And uh, thank you for doing the speaking practice test. And again, like I said earlier in this video, I have some great services that can help you with your pronunciation, for example. If you were one of my students right now, I would say study thought groups and blending, lessons 41 through 44. I would tell you to study the intonation video accent reduction lessons, and that's 36 through 40. I would even tell you to study the lessons on sentence rhythm so that you learn the difference between unstressed and stressed words and you can speak more naturally. I would tell you to study all those areas. And that's typically what I do when my students complete speaking or writing practice. I have over 800 different TOEFL lessons and I know which ones are going to help you make the improvements that you need to reach your target score. Alright, and thank you for doing this practice test.